Welcome to the uh, press, post game press conference with Bermuda head coach Kyle uh, Lightborn. We'll go ahead and go straight to the first questions. So if you have questions, please raise your hand. Si tienen preguntas, por favor, levante la mano. And please state your name and your uh, affiliation, please. Earl based in Island Stacks, Bermuda. Kyle, what did you think of the overall performance of the team th tonight? Uh, I thought we stuck to the game plan. We lost it a little bit, maybe for like 10 minutes in, in, the, in the first half. We knew it was going to be difficult for us. Um, I, I just wish we could replay that one moment in the first half when Nikki has been He's been caught. I don't think the guy done it deliberately, but I just think the referee was afraid to make that decision. And um, everybody in here, if you hold your hand on your heart, you would say, yes, the little country didn't get that decision. But I can't fault my players for the effort that they put in, never say die attitude. Um, little small, little country, but uh, team against team, we're not afraid of anyone. We'll go up here in the front, please. Coach, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Great game today. Uh, which weaknesses do you take of Costa Rica before the game to attack? <laughs> Weakness? Um, I thought they, t they play brave in the center of midfield because they, they don't play the traditional way. They play with the two in there and they leave it empty. So we try to outnumber them in that, that area and pinch the ball off them in that area. We play to a system that we make it difficult for teams to play through us at times. So we knew that we was going to get pieces of the ball and can we accelerate and catch them in those moments. Um, but we know they got quality on the ball. We, they move the ball, so we knew that we had to give them the wide areas at times for the course field ball, so we allowed that. And then can we shut them down in the inside and attack them? And, then we, and we had their moments that, that it happened in the game. But again, we have the, a good chance in the first half to score, and we don't take it. And, you know, that, that's probably our tournament right there, just not taking our chances. We'll go back a bit, please. Kyle, you, you, we created so many chances in that first half. Is that frustrating you that we created so many chances in the first game in the first half, so many chances in the second game in the first half, but come up with none? Yeah, it is frustrating. Um, that's, that, but that's football. We have to take it on the chin and move on. We have to grow. Um, it, it's no point in us not looking to improve now. Um, that, that's what this tournament was about. And I think everybody here could see that we deserve to be here. Yeah, we deserve to be here. We pushed the World Cup team for 90 minutes. Yes, we rode our lock a little bit, but I think they rode their lock as well. Back here in the green. Armand Kafai, Pro Soccer USA. Coach, can you just take us through that set piece uh, that drew the penalty? It looked like you guys went up and then pulled back, and it kind of confused Costa Rica to draw the penalty. Yeah, that, that, that's something that probably not seen. You know, we try push them in, keep them in to get a ball across the face of the box for someone to to get it. And and that's exactly what happened. We got the penalty. And, um, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. It's set pieces. We, we lost the game the other night because of a set piece. So they scored off a set piece in the first half. We know these, these are difficult moments in games for both teams. And uh, I'm just happy to see that that happen at that moment. Up front to Steve. Steve Wright, Royal Gazette. Kyle, when you get time to reflect the two performances, you've lost by the odd goal against two teams, two powerhouses of the region. You should be incredibly proud of the way Bermuda played last two matches. Yeah, we are proud. You know, um, just speaking to the players in there, they are, they are disappointed about the result. But first thing they said was, it's a bigger picture along the line. Um, so, you know, the work for us is, is just beginning. Can we, we have to stay at this level. We have to, in order to keep improving. Um, so, very proud of the team. 
can't ask for more other than just take our chances. <laughs> go, go back here, John. Kyle John Arnold with Goal. Uh, building a little bit on that, when you look forward, uh, you mentioned that the goal of the Gold Cup being here was to grow. What would it mean to close things out with a with a win in the final group match? And and how does this kind of game, where you mentioned going 90 minutes with a World Cup team, how does that maybe help build toward uh, Nations League as well? Uh, yeah, you know, we obviously we would like to finish the the um, the tournament with with some sort of result. You know, I think Nicaragua is a decent team. They um, on their day they they could be very dangerous. Um, yeah, we we have to build um, for 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 the Nations League because we're in a tough a tough group with Mexico and and uh, Panama, you know. But I think those teams when they come to Bermuda, be prepared for a battle, especially in Bermuda. Be prepared for a battle. That's all. You know, we're gonna battle. And we'll go with the last question over here, please. The build up to, to this, e this event here and then the climax comes on Monday night. Do you think we had enough time together to ensure that we can continue this run? Yes, I think, I think the, the teams enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it. Um, the, the, the lead up to the tournament, we wanted to stay in Bermuda because we always spend so much time and I, you know, I wanted the players to be able to be with their families and spend time with them before coming overseas. Um, and it's an opportunity for us as an association to grow. And that was the main point of us making it this far. Um, you know, you, you always worry that a team like Costa Rica can blow you away in 20 minutes. Um, but we managed to 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 manage the game in the right way. We learned from the other night against Haiti. We learned. We tried not to be so hasty in our decisions. You know, manage the game uh, a lot better tonight. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of my team. Um, I think people around the world would take notice of some of the, the Bermuda players. Um, and, um, you know, <laughs> Small little country, but big hearts. Thank you, Coach.